February 22, Saturday, the Feast of the Chair of St. Peter the Apostles. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for the flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the nether world shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord The Keys to the Kingdom Simon Peter's Confession of Jesus as the Christ, the Son of the Living God, is used as gospel reading for the Feast of the Chair of St. Peter. While Peter is at times presented as sitting on a chair while holding a key, the feast is not about a material chair, although a statue called Cathedra Petri is located on the apse of St. Peter Basilica in Rome. Rather, it points to the office of the Pope as successor of Peter in teaching and guiding the people of God. His solemn teaching on faith and morals is divine ex cathedra from the chair, and this becomes a part of the magisterium. In the exercise of the solemn office, the Pope enjoys the same guidance with which the Lord assured Peter when the Lord gave him the power of the keys. Pope Benedict XVI once said that the cathedra is the symbol of the bishop's authority and in particular of his magisterium, that is, the evangelical teaching, which, as a successor of the apostles, he is called to safeguard and to transmit to the Christian community. Celebrating the chair of Peter means attributing a strong spiritual significance to it and recognizing it as a privileged sign of the love of God the eternal Good Shepherd who wanted to gather his whole church and lead her on the path of salvation. <music>